Hello guys, welcome to this very, very uncommon first unboxing and full review of 2024 season. <laughs> Why very uncommon? Simply because this obviously will be a first unboxing and full review of uh, Limax slash Lemax porcelain building. The but first time ever on this channel this will also be a first unboxing and full review of a department 56 building both porcelain building both from 2024 season Lamax department 56 Caddington Collection, Dickens Village Series. Lemax versus Department 56. During the past months, I've said multiple times, please, Lemax, watch out to the quality of your buildings, of your porcelain buildings, because 20 years ago, the quality used your quality used to be much more elevated this is only my opinion guys but i think many out there think the same way and i also said maybe there is other buildings <laughs> ready to be acquired for my collection and in this 2024, as I said some videos ago, some parts ago of the uh, standard series, I could get four Department 56 buildings at a lower price than the top models from Lemax, uh, Lemax 2024 collection. Uh, from Europe, first time ever, simply because it is. So, I already said, Department 56 is reaching Europe from the Netherlands. These come from Netherlands, these come from Italy. <laughs> Peraga versus... no. Yes, uh, uh, Peraga versus uh, uh, Minidor. This is not a sponsored, guys, okay? I want to let you see the quality of both buildings, the differences of both buildings. The quality is similar or one has a better quality than another. And that's why I'm doing this. So two full review instead of one in the same video. Okay? Uh, I don't know what I will find inside, but uh, both are from 2024 season. This is uh, uh, Crane's Carriages, 2024 Lemax Incorporated, and this is from Caddington uh, Collection. This is obviously Dickens Village series from Department 56, and it is the uh, Kingsford Rug Merchant. Uh, I choose two porcelain building both from 2024 season because even this is 2024 Enesco LLC. Enesco is the owner of department 56. Uh, so very strange that I am doing this, but it's like that. I wanted to try this. Uh, maybe this is from Lemax, not the top notch uh, design for this 2024 season, but it was the only decent porcelain buildings, always in my opinion, to choose from the 2024 Cattington collection. And I already told you about resin collection, but 
tradition is porcelain. And this is also porcelain because Department 56 never get away from porcelain. Lemax Department 56. Buildings have not the same um, aspect and not the same design even from the box is obvious crane's carriage i think it is more wide than tall this uh, kings of rag merchant is tall than squared almost a squared on the base uh, let's go with the unboxing of uh, both, both building. I will start from uh, from uh, Lamax. So same as always, uh, porcelain lighted building in all the main European languages, cranes carriage, etc. Caruages de crane. Uh, then year of production item four two two five H LED inside and for the first time ever uh, it is uh, specified that there is the classic uh, moonlander um, led in bulb inside and that you will need a 4.5 volt uh, adapter to power it on first unboxing let's open the box and this is classic for caddington series so uh, the color of the box is the same uh, we have seen during the past seasons also the package is the same with the notice inside the notice are this is an unmade uh, object uh, then uh, a notice regarding the light bulb uh, and how to use the light bulb in the main uh, languages so English, French, Spanish, German, Dutch and Italian then another strange uh, notice that this is uh, uh, yes, this is about power consumption Top O Lemax 4525H. Let's open the box. First time, blah bam. Then let's try to get a look what we have inside. Okay. The new AC adapter introduced in this season 2024. And uh, this is new because I, I will get the mm, the other AC adapters from uh, previous uh, seasons. So until last season, the new AC adapters were those ones. Don't worry, this is Italian. Uh, plug okay they were uh, like this so 90 degrees plug and almost two meters of uh, uh, um, almost a six feet of power cord like those ones okay starting from this 2024 season they went with this new AC adapter that it is more like the shape we know uh, regarding um, charger, regarding our smartphones, our uh, iPhone or our uh, Android phones charger. So the shape is the same, but the plug here is no more than 90 degrees and it was stated clearly type U the new 
here. Type U, the new AC adapter plug, always uh, 4.5 volt, but this is the new one and it is uh, uh, 100 up to 240 volts and it is uh, 4.5 volt, 0 0.45 watts and only 0 0.1 amp of absorption. So this is what? Then the standard uh, the standard uh, moon lander modified. This is the moon lander that you can uh, currently buy as a spare as a spare part, uh, and this is version up till 2023 series collections. The new one is similar but it has an old uh, new hole in the middle to get it more stable once connected. This means that the new adapters will fit only with the new bulbs. They will not fit with the old moon lander with the old bulbs okay but the old adapters will fit obviously the old bulbs up till 2023 but they will also fit the new bulbs so it's not really a problem, it's only a way of improving because this is more specific, more sure to be like that. But it is also a way of wasting space. Look at the difference between the two bulbs. These take much more space. If you have a wall or something, these take double the space, the distance from the wall. And this, I don't like it. That's why I probably continue using the old AC adapters or I will modify everything as always and keep those AC adapter just as spare uh, adapters, okay? But as you have seen many times, I never use the wires or the or the SC adapter that I use some uh, splitters and I always check first time to understand where to pull it out from the box and avoid breaking something okay the colors and this is a good surprise are much more vivid colors than what may what stated on the picture so i had the impression that the signposts were more maroonish and uh, the chimney and the rest were more uh, brown but this has a much more uh, good colors even from the side, okay guys, then you will see my full review. Uh, this is a surprise because this picture is not that vivid and the green is not really green and the other color. So this is much more better than what I was, uh, was attracted by the picture there of the of what stated so Lemax 2024 copyright Lemax 2024 and I will do a full review uh, the bulb obviously from the back okay guys and let me make some space for the first unboxing of 
Kingsford Rag Merchant. Okay, let me open and as I already told you maybe one or two times the package packaging the box is less thick, much more fragile this one. Lemax is used to ship everything around the world from uh, it has been many years. This I don't think it is a very well suited package for international shipping. The package is obviously not as usable as the uh, Lemax package as Lemax with these um, velcro here and uh, this elastic there is used to packaging for using the building during the time you want them to be easily reboxed without problems and without ruining anything. Here I have some scotch tape so if I open this I will no more be able to close it again uh, when the season is off. So I will need to try to find a different solution when it will be time to repack this building and no indication at all where is the top or the bottom. So for now packaging is better for Lemax than department 56 my opinion. So I don't know where it is the top and the bottom. Let's open this and let me try I don't know. Uh, I don't know where is the top. I don't know where is the bottom. I suppose this is the top. So first thing I need to do is to mark these as top. So next time I will know from uh, where to open uh, the package. Okay, what I have inside? I have some not real uh, lantern and a signpost to attach to the building and I think it is this signpost here and uh, this one here that it is on the side. No, it's not on the side and I will explain you why and then a lantern that one it is here but I will discover. Then there is the new type of uh, connectors for this 20-24 season also for um, for uh, department 56 and they introduced this kind of uh, power cord only uh, this season starting from this season the bulb obviously yes but then there is a non off switch zero one as this was a table lamp and first time ever an USB connector. Okay, USB connector means obviously 5 volts, okay? Uh, 5 volt and for first time you have a USB connector. Maybe they introduced it uh, in some uh, buildings in 2023, but it is clearly stated even on their uh, online uh, page on their um, on their side that there were this kind of power. So no 
AC adapter, but you need to plug this into a source of 5 volts. Position the LED light within the round opening on the underside of the product, position the light cord with the groove, etc. Power supply and operation. This product is powered by a 5 volt, 1 milliamp max USB adapter, not supplied. So you need to find a uh, USB adapter. Connect the light cord USB to the adapter before inserting the adapter into 220 to 40 domestic outlet. Okay? And uh, this is the first time ever. So this bulb here, that it is different from the Moonlander, obviously it is hard plastic, if not um, um, glass, tinted glass, and then met metal. Uh, almost alumi aluminum and the system is similar with the two um, little uh, push and pull there and this one too okay uh, I always keep these lighted towards the on towards always lighted on because I have all the AC adapters under my Mm, my my layout and I switch the main circuit okay and for me this is too big uh, so light bulb and light system maybe this is more resistance more durable okay but these guys is old, too old, even if they introduced the uh, 5 volt cable and this means that if every building I have from Lemax is powered by 4.5 volts and some mm, different buildings, mine at 3, the one I made at 3 volts I will need for department 56 to introduce a new type of voltage the uh, 5 uh, volt and the building itself so even department 56 has snow on this series of on this collection okay one difference also that I notice is there is no silica gel uh, bag inside this is a silica gel that uh, protect porcelain from humidity because humidity <laughs> ruin porcelain and department 56 doesn't have it but uh, Lemax has it the quality guys and as always recently okay and Dickens Village series Kings for Rug Merchant. So this is a plus for Department 56. They also state on the item itself the collection, the title of the of the building, Department 56. But this is as uh, as uh, Lemax do. And it is stated 2024. 20, Not a toy, an ESCO LTD, etc. And as always from recent years, Department 56 has this way of providing light from the downside. Not from the back side. Okay. The back side here is usable, guys. 
Papa, Kingsford Rug Merchant, with uh, a big uh, secondary door for carriages, a secondary entrance here, the hooks, one hook here and the second hook here, for the two lanterns that are not usable. Uh, some holes in the porcelain in the windows, things that doesn't have like that <coughs> uh, landmax, and this is the difference from the back side. But from this side, it is totally different, and uh, you have some rugs, and those are uh, PV PVA, maybe plastic but yes plastic like linoleum or something like that because they have the same the, they smell as linoleum and the side is usable this i suppose it is the the main the front is usable the other side is usable so a building that is usable from all four side and the eight guys let me take a look it is no from this side you will not see but the eight is the same narrow building yes the scale if you take a look to the doors it is almost the same because this door here is four centimeters and this door here is 3.7 centimeters no problem with the scale um, and here it is the hole for the signpost different rugs different design on every single one of the rugs movable so you can even uh, position them if you want differently uh, this one maybe need to be repositioned like that maybe with some double sided tape because they, they are supposed to be all like in the picture here uh, uh, like the first one uh, unrolled on themselves so I will need to uh, do the same thing here once again and unroll, unroll this it has been glued with some uh, with some uh, odd gun glue and I will need to reposition it to re-unroll it before making the, the anything else um, metal this is all porcelain this is metal for the for the um, the hooks and the for the the suspenders there it is uh, metal okay but the building is usable from each side and from the windows will come out uh, some light okay will come out some light uh, let me try something before going to the first to the full review let me use the new bulb but not the AC adapter uh, let me use this AC adapter like that and I will switch it on like that and uh, this is the amount of light but for this one I will need something different 
I will need a power adapter from a phone and I will get these connected and I will switch this on. So different uh, the porcelain is good, it is not a translucent. The color of the bulbs are different. The Lemax bulb is more yellowish, the new one, and uh, the Department 56 also is different. This one is more diffused, this one is more point like that. Let me try uh, for a moment and the old up until 2023. It is the same, it is the same. I thought maybe it was different. Okay, let me do something also different. If I wanted to really compare, let me do this. And then let me do this and this on and on. They are identical. 2020 up to 2023 new Moonlander bulb 2024 and they are identical inside only the plug is different this is more so this is less diffused light this is more diffused light this is more orange yellowish those one are more uh, are more uh, natural light And they diffuse almost the same way. Windows there are like that. Windows in here are like that. Okay. So simi oops, similar in color and uh, other things. Okay. So now let's go with the full review of both buildings. Good guys, now the full review of both buildings, cranes, carriages from Lemax and the Kingsford rug merchant from Department 56. Then a few closing words. Allow me those few closing uh, words. So let's start with uh, uh, Lemax and uh, Cranes carriages. As always my glasses, otherwise I'm blind in front of this screen as I've already told many many times. So here we go with the Cranes carriages okay here we go with cranes carriages let's do a turnaround like i always do two times three times i know it is a little quick but in order to let you see uh, just uh, some of the total look okay then i will start with uh, the overall looking okay guys so I was impressed by the colors when I opened the, the for the first time the package, the box, because um, here colors are much more vivid than on the picture on the box. And this is a top, uh, top surprise for me, at least for me. Uh, some measurements and this is a cranes carriages and it is item 45258 from uh, Caddington's collection from 2024 
Lemax Caddington collection. It weighs 1178 grams, so a little more than one kilogram. And uh, uh, the measurements are 8, 8.4 centimeters, sorry, 8.4 inches. That is equivalent to 21.5 centimeters age. The width there from this point here to this point here is 6.1 inches or 15.6 centimeters. Then there is the depth there that it, it is 5.4 inches, uh, a little more than 13.5 centimeters. So almost a squared building if it wasn't for this little l-shaped corner here let's go as always with the back as premier and from top to down so uh, it's not uh, over lighted the image is that simply this that the roof is somehow iridescent a gray iridescent so it reflects a lot the the light of the camera of the box <laughs> uh, inside uh, inside uh, which i uh, shoot at these photos the back is not usable as always from lemax so horizontal roof tiles uh, some uh, top uh, decoration gold uh, painted and the chimney uh, from the back here we have uh, two holes that I haven't understood and uh, the meaning of them then the circular uh, standard um, hole for um, the light bulb for the Moonlander Lemax standard bulb and then uh, it is a two level building first level from uh, ground to this position here second level there and uh, maybe a third level under the roof colors light ivory and uh, strange orange uh, red here for the side the building is completely porcelain, as I've already said, but also it is simulated uh, not a wood, not a single piece of wood here, but uh, everything is, um, is uh, uh, bricks uh, covered with something. Then on the first level, but not usable as it is a fake, a fake windows, standard windows with some um, arcs supporting the arcs uh, on top of it and uh, it is painted brown and uh, and yellow to simulate the light coming from the inside some snow here considering the painting guys I know this is the back but come on there are many overlapping here it is unmade, not one will have the same building, but there are plenty of overlapping here with the red overlapping into this uh, um, beige color on top. Here a uh, default of production with a hole in the roof. Then also red, but not perfect here. it. Uh, uh, it is missing uh, some of the color then it is one two two one and then one 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 on uh, ivory here some other overlapping here the red over and uh, the beige the maroon the maroon the, <laughs> the maroon the brown light brown color another defect here on this level here then some missing painting on this level here 
and here the most noticeable overlapping of color um, if uh, you use some red color it is very difficult to cover what you have behind as a first level simply because uh, red is a transparent color if you don't mix it with some white or some black and here instead of uh, finishing with the gray painting here they overlap the color and now the red is yes overlapping badly because this should be squared but instead it is round here and here squared so oh guys very very rough and quickly done painting for this back side here and as I always told you they could have left the back uh, the back completely uh, raw because it is never usable from the back such buildings from a uh, Lamax okay and nothing else on the on the back there let's go from another side this one or this one let's go with this side here the overall look is a little better a little more defined in painting but not that precise so let's go full screen with the side here and to decoration on top uh, the roof is always the same obviously with some uh, gray redescent horizontal roof tiles and if you see from this angle some snow on both side of these a little um, protruding uh, wall from the uh, rest of the of the of the side then a little window there a real window so always handmade so uh, it is clearly that the holes they made on the porcelain is not are not perfect and so a small window there on this side here okay not very well defined and then uh, another window there on the let's say the second floor the second level okay some red ribbon here on the side then some imperfect uh, flower pot there not very well applied maybe too much glue on one side some snow here white then another mistletoe wreath there uh, with some ribbon uh, red ribbon then <laughs> then the door <laughs> absolutely not well defined uh, yes with some red and some gold but here <laughs> roughly done um, here too the gold is roughly done and overlapping always overlapping it, it, it's uh, sad to said such things but this is not the quality I was uh, um, I was expect, expecting from this porcelain building from in 2024 almost like sorry I'm a bad person like the painter here had some real problems with some trembling with some parkinson maybe i know i'm bad very bad right now but come on uh, do better things i don't know why this is not completed up until this level and this is missing some color so he painted the be first the the side then goes with the the light gray and overlapping the color here some trembling while painting the door some problems in the porcelain there also here another problem here missing porcelain uh, the carriage wheel is almost good as 
this is supposed to be and the wall here is a little rough okay it is a little rough the wall uh, with some imperfection I don't know it, if it is intended or not but let's say not okay otherwise all the walls were like that some more problems of overlapping the, the color here and there uh, and then once again a side that is almost not usable but here too a big problem of overlapping on uh, on the lower um, on the lower of the of the roof there overlapping here color really a very rough and badly painted these for these two sides here and those windows are here so uh, i was saying the light will uh, came out from the inside through the holes in the windows so a little better than uh, the back but maybe usable yes maybe not and this building has plenty of problems and the porcelain has plenty of problems here another problem of overlapping here of mm, this time not color painting but of ceramic there and uh, <laughs> i don't know and uh, you are always suspecting that i'm too bad with lamax nowadays but this is a porcelain, this should be top-notch um, top notch collection not resin that it is uh, in not, not entirely made by, uh, by hand okay, the other side here and here it is almost a catastrophe but let's go the chimney here from this side uh, to uh, up done yes uh, almost good everything with some snow here uh, on the same level as the other side uh, big giant red ribbon on top of the chimney mistletoe uh, red with some red ribbon and also some uh, gold small balls um, always the same gray redescent tiles on the roof okay and no window absolutely no window here on this but there is the chimney so impossible to add a window here a small window that it is suffering always the same overlapping of colors uh, I suspect that every and single one of the buildings of the Ukraine's carriages buildings are made the same way and it is a real pity as Lemax uh, and uh, quality are not on the same page here on the ground level for higher uh, in a, in a font that is very similar to some German font between first and second world war and that it is totally different from this font here uh, for higher okay carriages for higher some cranes absolutely good to have placed some snow on top of the cranes because and on top of the post here because uh, the snow if it doesn't accumulate on the roof because it is uh, steep it will accumulate on some uh, points and these e th those are good points for accumulating snow on flat surfaces so this is not a, cra uh, um, a crane this is a small packet so small packet crane 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 another small packet here ruined by the by snow a big giant error guys Caddington collection 
is not set in Europe is set in the US Victorian times yes uh, uh, east coast northeast coast of the US yes all the European uh, like this one Boston Massachusetts New so the east coast but so you can't write prices not in US but in pounds ow uh, I don't understand the last part so rates for two hour hiring and uh, daily rates uh, one house uh, and here it is uh, Brookman one pound etc single landau two pounds private handsome 1.5 55 52 pounds towards carriage 253 and then theater and ball i don't understand what it is it's not uh, uh, it's not uh, some price 6D uh, I don't know sincerely what they wrote there I'm trying to go uh, and the forage extra handling and the forage extra okay uh, very strange uh, sign with the rates in pounds and not in US and normally it is everything is stated in uh, USD or in cents or in dollars USD in uh, Lemax Caddington collection uh, L-shaped uh, corner office uh, absolutely good uh, font but once again different from this one this one is the same as the front post uh, they should have continued with the same font here on the panel there with the rates this is more front and we come to the front in some seconds in some minutes and let's go here some evident overlapping here the red over the ivory uh, and then some glue is visible they never stopped using some hot gun glues uh, to assemble their buildings and i don't think it is very well suited in 2020 for 2025 uh, with uh, new resins etc at disposal even cheaper than um, than uh, hot gun glues the main face the main wall the only one really usable Uh, big giant rounded uh, windows or rounded something uh, almost simulating a, a carriage wheel here on top of uh, this wall here very cold inside with those uh, holes here so I don't think it is uh, very warm inside uh, some uh, Misato ribbon there, some I don't think they are poinsettias, but much more some uh, pots with some uh, Misato's inside. This one is not perfect, perfectly vertical. Here, a problem it is missing a piece. I'm not uh, returning this as this is one piece, but I should have done so. It is missing a piece there that I haven't noticed during the first unboxing. The fonts here good, yes. 
uh, acceptable for these uh, for this building some other um, and it is visible from the distance as well as office there uh, here office it is visible from the distance so it is very clear that this is the main entrance and this is the office entrance then an arc that is suffering always with overlapping colors but it is the standard for this building i think okay and here you can see through the window uh, that was on the other side here you can see inside uh, the let's call it uh, garage maybe okay uh, gluing a problem too much glue for the for the two uh, wheels for the two carriages wheels too much glue and uh, i don't know why it, uh, just need a, a little of uh, glue on here then inside it is not lighted um, so it will be dark if you film this building and during uh, the night with very low lights and inside it is completely naked so a carriage that i suspect it isn't uh, 100 percent there because it is truncated so it is only part of the carriage and i don't see inside the other two wheels of this carriage even if i go full screen it's not visible so they cut clearly cut the carriage in half why i don't know <laughs> i don't know then the door here <coughs> uh, that is suffering for from the same problems uh, overlapping of color not precise in colors here the um, light uh, brown uh, or gray is overlapping this final section here not uh, at least overlap in the same way left and right but this is not overlapped in the same way uh, missing some uh, something here they could have gone painting <laughs> red continuously okay and uh, even from this side to uh, red ribbons and no outside illumination no outside lamps not street lamps nothing not even fake ones for this building maybe here one post with one light post should have been there and or maybe a lantern on top of each of the two doors there but the difference, I don't see a difference from the main office entrance door and the side door there. Exactly the same, with the same importance. So this is the only side, the front side, that will be usable for this uh, carriage, cranes carriage building. And the chimney is red, so the colors. The combination of colors is the really good point of this building and these i told you and during the last three season 22 23 and 24 it was very hard for me to choose a porcelain <coughs> building and last season i haven't choose i have choose the carolas cafe but it has some problems uh, the season before it was uh, coventry gardens and etc so very difficult coventry is the the good one compared to the last two from 23 and 24 season and it is a really pity for me uh, once again this is not top notch quality but if i choose this building because design and association of um, micro scenes etc for me it was one of the only <laughs> buildings uh, average for this 2024 season i will also i think i will also post a full uh, a first unboxing full review of the other building from lamax 
I voted that it is always from this 2024 season. Maybe it will be better. Uh, what I uh, forgot to tell you about this building. Uh, am I happy as I was when I first unboxed Nora's Christmas boutique? No! No one can be with the quality of the last two seasons from Lamax. But it is a tradition to buy, uh, not for you, but for my family, to buy a new building each season from at least one collection. Uh, my, my voice is like that because right now I'm not totally happy. But it was the last, the last, the less uh, problematic building for me for this 2024. But come on, guys. <laughs> and these has passed the quality check. So even the quality check from Lemax has, has shoot has shoot down. Someone has a shoot the old workers from Lemax. They have replaced all of them, otherwise artists, uh, painters, sculptors, otherwise I can't, I cannot imagine why such debacle. Let me switch to the Department 56 building. Well, this is as stated here, Kingford Rug Merchant from Department 56. Let's go around for some tour. A couple more, let's say a couple more. Then we will go in details as always. Okay, let's say it is enough like this. And there is no back for me in this building so uh, the these signposts here royal rug company it's not on the same place in every shoot im shoot uh, shooted image because it was moving with the system i used to take pictures so it is not stable it is not fixed so it swing uh, all along uh, the movement of the of the building okay M uh, dimensions and weight so this is a kingsford rug merchant item 6013413 from dickens village series the weight 860 in grams not uh, not a kilogram, but it is a, a smaller building compared to the previous one. Uh, the dimensions, 8, exactly the same as the previous Lemax uh, building, so 8.4 uh, 8 inches or 21.5 centimeters. Then uh, the width there is only 4.1 uh, inches. Once again, sorry, I'm not used to imperial measure and 10.4 centimeters. And the side here is 5 inches or 12.7 centimeters. So uh, they are they have the same age. This one is a little uh, narrower. Uh, compared to the other one, the depth is a similar five against five point four, uh, so the depth is uh, bigger for Lemax. Here it is the width that it is uh, five centimeters or two inches less than the Lemax building, but it doesn't ruin. It has it has the same uh, scale, guys. So let me go with this side here that it is not the back side as you are all usually used to see with Lemax. This side here is usable and uh, 
the standard for department 56 is to use the bottom and here you see the little arc from where the uh, power cord will come out from the bottom and the bulb is not horizontal pointing towards the main uh, the main uh, wall the front uh, wall but it is diffusing the light from the bottom in every direction so it's not like Lemax that when you see through the window you can see blush the uh, the bulb flashing towards you it's more a diffuse light coming from the bottom and uh, here hided and then everything is lighted in the same way okay so colors mm, ivory dark ivory or beige then brown yellow some red some green but it's uh, it's uh, a good choice a good uh, choice of colors for this building that it is uh, not new not old it is uh, a shop so it must be used let's go uh, let's go with this uh, with uh, this side here top here uh, and as you can see from this side the only fake windows are from this side here so what it is supposed to be the back side roof uh, tile, tiles on the roof it is uh, a little less grayish but horizontal tiles but different from Lemax because the tiles are not even in this case it's more like having some um, stone tiles on the roof than also irregular stones for the chimney mixed with some bricks maybe or some uh, or some concrete maybe some concrete snow here present only in the chimney and in the top side of the roof this building too has one level two level three levels okay or, two, or three stories Kingsford rug merchant I suppose it is the same font almost the same font as uh, uh, as the previous building from Lemax slash Limax so fake windows except this one because if you get this you understand that the yellow is fake and uh, uh, the the rest is not fake so where you have yellow it is a fake all where you have uh, uh, not <laughs> yellow it is a real hole to let you see through so only fake windows that you can see are on the on the door there it is yellow so fake window there then I suppose this is for bigger carriages to get into the into the shop for uh, uh, for suppliers maybe there's some suppliers or maybe some uh, some arrivals from the Orient then this is a mix of a wall that, he, that has some stone bricks covered by some concrete or something like that or maybe uh, simple earth then painted on top uh, this is a good uh, um, good architecture with uh, some uh, uh, wood sustaining uh, some part of the roof etc triangles guys you know that triangles are always good to support everything and uh, painting uh, what is interesting is this part here guys very well defined because it gives the building an air of uh, uh, 
almost new but also used as this was be run by generations but it is uh, uh, in good conditions because this is a flourishing shop and then lantern uh, also those lanterns are fake lanterns and you simply need to uh, them there on the hook to place them on the hook and those two swings a little less than the signpost but they swings around Uh, on the door, uh, so uh, red ribbon, some mistletoe there, and uh, I don't think sincerely that this is done on purpose as uh, I don't care about the painting. But when a building, when a shop he has some, uh, some ears behind him, the paintings tends to de deteriorate but not in regular way and this is not in regular way they used two shades of different green one light and one dark uh, here it is painted but the important things uh, with uh, the 156 buildings are those elements here as the hooks there and uh, the other hooks there, this one, the big one, the giant one, are mat metal, okay? Even the ones sustaining the carpets, the rugs, are uh, pure metal, and it, this is a good, a good addition. It gives importance to the building, it gives more quality than simple plastic or resin insert, as Lamax tend to do. So, in general, the painter here try not to overlap anything, but as it is unmade, it, it did a, a good job. Not ruin on purpose or defective by production in any parts. No overlapping of color here on the side. Here a minimum there, but it is because the door is not perfectly vertical and also a minimum of overlapping here uh, where you have uh, the, um, the brackets there okay uh, then then from the back side nothing more and uh, it's uh, not even the wall but it is intended because those kinds of wall here I can affirm and I can swear that it is intended to be like that maybe a uh, too well defined the Kingsford rug merchant as in the wall it is used so I was expecting some aging even on the on the font even on the writings but it hasn't been so but <laughs> I'm too uh, too pointy there okay so let's go with this side here always usable guys okay always usable and fake where you have yellow and not fake where you have the rest one problem here this barrel is intended to uh, collect the the water from the roof okay from the roof but the pipe here doesn't get inside the barrel so little problem here but I'm uh, too 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 bad right now uh, and some uh, not very well or, or very well painted um, metal that, that those should be for metal circle um, that uh, are there to make the barrel but they painted it by end so horizontally and trying to go around it's a little uh, difficult so a little imprecision in painting the barrel good uh, addition is to add some ice or some deteriorated metal here you have two choice consider these some uh, icy water or considering that the black painting on the pipes is deteriorating 
due to the age of the building but it is intended so it is not a defect so again some um, stone uh, bricks visible here in the side here they even sculpted the vein in the in the in the wood there and the roof from this side is uneven but it is good like that uh, always three levels or three story and then what was visible here the same design repeated even on the side okay even on the side even if in different uh, proportions it is good to give continuity to each side of the building no door for this uh, uh, for this side here and but you can use this side nothing against using this side it has some problems minimum problems of a uh, painting here on the bottom but this is very well done the wall it is very well done and this is porcelain ga guys as the porcelain walls the landmax building you see some minutes ago uh, what else from this side and nothing very important but it is a good side let's go to the other side that is uh, uh, in my opinion these should be the main entrance these should be the side but you can also use these as main side main face but it lacks some doors that has these but absolutely so if you want i can consider this as the main entrance okay so for me but i i don't like to consider that because for me if it is the back doors if those are the back doors this should be the main entrance because back it it is always opposite to uh, to front but as all the all the uh, sides are usable i don't really think this uh, building is supposed to have just one main face except this one that is clearly can't be the main uh, the main uh, entrance etc so this can be the main phase and if but l let's go so let me go with this that is considered the main l let's consider this the main entrance the main phase facade and let's forget that the back door is at 90 degrees and not here on this side okay but it can also be that the main side has some big giant window to present the products to the to the um, to the customers and then this no but let's say and by the way i've uh, re-enrolled this rug and re-glue it but using some super glue this time and now it is uh, in good conditions i think so let's go with this uh, with this side here uh, that has uh, the same roof snow visible the chimney and also the chimney that is not regular it is good like that it is good like that uh, first the main uh, um, rug there and this is movable so you can move the, the rug uh, uh, if you want you can unroll uh, it more if you want because this is movable and uh, it is uh, or P PVA plastic or linoleum I don't really know and it is not stated in any notice and uh, these always some windows with the light so there will be light coming out behind the uh, the rug and there is no window behind the rug but the, you can unroll the the rug more if you want 
and if you wanted to play uh, with it so one man one entry one door and this is the main door it is understandable with some important ribbon there some small roof to protect once uh, entering there the there is no, no protection but two doors and two lanterns it is a good so i repeat may also this could be used as a main entrance but here there is the uh, the power cord and generally the power cord comes out from the back but you can hide it if you want okay uh, let's get here some some uh, uh, misset of um, ribbon there uh, and uh, uh, red uh, bow ribbon uh, there uh, the same design on the win on the door you have there you have also here but it is uh, uh, well painted no overlapping no uh, defective wall visible if you have here a default a defect and there another defect from this side here you don't have any uh, any defect then uh, three more rugs in this uh, uh, village people must be very diligent and they must certainly not have thieves otherwise those rugs will haven't survived an hour outside and it is good to have different colors here you have a mix of uh, uh, dirty white, red, blue, dark blue, light blue and some design some uh, as a real uh, rug will be here some more light colors with the sun with some light uh, red etc here completely blue more important rug, bigger rug and this one too all different rugs all perfectly added to the building some uh, overlapping maybe ye here yes on the floor but on the main side I can't see really overlapping in colors and the wall is very well designed always those uh, triangles that are um, mirrored N if you want the letter N and this one no but this one yes i'm crazy i know uh, a little problem on the step here but, but i think it is intended here a little uh, he ruined by the time used by the time even here maybe some uh, big chunk of ice falling from the roof broke this step here and uh, the window here is not visible so there is no window except this one and uh, also the royal rug company with the crown signpost it is intended to be this mobile as it can be seen from each side you want then let's go there with something very interesting those are Uh, um, three levels one two maybe three three let's say three levels always here there are there is everything once again Kingsford rug merchant so uh, the only face where you don't have indication of what uh, store it is is from this side here here you can understand here you have the Royal Rug Company post precisely place it on the corner so it is visible from this view and from this other view and then Kingsford the rug merchant once again stated on this face here let's uh, take a look to the windows so fake windows yellow so fake windows on top of here here the same um, red bow ribbons and mistletoe ribbons uh, etc <coughs> sorry guys it's a little late 
uh, this rug is magnificent guys all the colors big flowers etc uh, red uh, white uh, uh, gray yellow uh, pink uh, all the main colors and the background is uh, between dark blue and uh, black or dark gray but everything is uh, very well done a variation on the roof of this uh, window there of this uh, bow window that is a, bow, a squared bow window because the tiles are always irregular but they are almost uh, a little darker than uh, terracotta uh, uh, less uh, steep roof there so a little accumulation of snow there but before going to the last rug let me talk about this design there uh, like having something sculpted in those walls giving importance only rich people could afford at that time to have uh, some uh, sculpted frieze on their uh, buildings because the sculptors were um, were important um, workers were uh, very well paid workers essentially for uh, churches and cathedrals but they started even in Victorian time to be appreciated as sculptors for common buildings and those are two sculpted maybe some I can see a flower here but interesting uh, once again I think this is unmade because they are not uh, made in the same way there are some problems here this one is more defined so they make a hole here in the wall then apply it it's not like they add a sculpted the, the, the wall but they simply remove a piece of the walls from each side and then apply the, this other piece of uh, a porcelain but genius idea for me to go in that way and to simulate such particular things then the last rug always the biggest one that is covering the main window there but once again you can unroll this but it is a little more difficult uh, this one cannot be unrolled because it's simply angered on the balcony because this is a mini balcony guys and uh, th those ones where are roller uh, you can unroll them this one you can unroll them but this one as you can see from this point of view you cannot easily no f f here it is like having a ring there so some part in the front or some in the back and glued together so it is very difficult to unroll this rug on this support that is movable obviously uh, not detachable but movable so the two pieces move together you can uh, uh, move f the, the rug from one side and from the other this one is not movable and those one no because they are glued and this has too little space to be moved but it is uh, you can unroll it because this one it, it has only the final part that is glued the rest is the a simple rug this one as you can see it is double sided and the two sides are uh, glued it together so not very easy to unroll it uh, I should say almost impossible to to do it and this wall has no imperfection this is once again a good addition for this wall and they are all different this one is almost symmetrical but not and so each and single side can be used guys imperfection even from this side in painting uh, overlapping i don't think so and the wall is good etc wood with some veins not everywhere here yes here not those are 
some bricks positioned uh, vertically and not horizontally. Uh, they are placed like that on the um, thinner uh, side there instead of the other side but it is a construction uh, method if you want if you prefer to call it like that and here another important rug as I said have I told everything about this building yes I can't show you uh, place for the bulb but you have seen it on the first uh, unboxing and uh, uh, and everything is now stated even for this um, building I think everything I've said everything yes guys everything uh, so let me switch off from here and uh, let me go to the main camera guys and here I am guys without glasses obviously and a few closing words this is the first time ever for me to do such uh, Lemax versus Department 56 or compared uh, reviews and the first unboxing but I think it's not that bad what I uh, should mention uh, for the apartment 56 the only thing I don't like is the power cord with that big uh, uh, on off switch and the fact that you must plug it into some 5 uh, volt uh, adapter using maybe your phone no, no thank you it's not suited for 2024 or 2025 um you should take the power cords and the light bulbs from Lamax and or Limax and use them on uh, department 56 the rest is top notch quality for department 56 uh, luckily for me i got the chance to get at least four buildings from uh department 56 and department 56 sorry and i don't think i will uh, stop here if uh, like i i think uh, department 56 will continue to uh, come even to europe uh, for next season and all the future seasons uh, lemax lemax building have you seen the com the how i compared the two painting uh not comparable for me very uh, amateur the one from uh, lemax but it is a porcelain building two are both porcelain building so i think that the overall quality of uh, department 56 even if i never add on my ends department 56 building but always seen them online has never uh all down during the past 20 years or even the, the last four years i should have done uh, the same thing with nora's christmas boutique 2018 then lamax 2024 and department 56 2024 uh, the same quality as nora's in 2020 in 2018 and department 56 in 2024 not the same quality for Lemax in 2024 compared to six years ago, six seasons ago, 2018. Uh, I can show you in the next video if you want the quality of the oldest building from Department 56 that is from 2013, but I sincerely don't think the quality is different from 2024. Uh, I absolutely don't like packages from Department 56. They are amateur packaging, uh, not usable, and I think uh, they will shred apart in no time. Second time you will use them, they will shred apart. But for Department 56, it's not the packaging important. But due to the fact that they are very expensive buildings, uh, you should uh, you should think about doing an important packaging. Packaging, otherwise, 
during the off-season it is to damage the buildings. Uh, good quality, good improvement in the light system, in the um, power cord for uh, Lemax in this 2024 season, uh, but uh, you can use uh, bulbs from the past also for the department, uh, for uh, Lemax. But the two jack, the two jack. Uh, mm, uh, power cord for this 2024 it's usable from now on but not usable on the previous um, buildings from previous season from Lemax and this is a pity an improvement yes because they switched to something that is more uh, standard for um, this 2024 or 2025 and future years. I will continue to use my octopus um, split cables for lighting up the, uh, the buildings, uh, always one AC adapter each eight building and I'm sad but I will need to modify the power cord for, from department 56 because it is not usable. It's like having a lamp and the big switch is not hideable in any way easily. You need to to dig a big hole to hide that switch. Much more intelligent to use an on-off switch on the bulb. But they have two different philosophy. Uh, Department fifty six may be used also as a single pieces uh, in some on top of some um, furniture around the house. Lemax except the, um, the the products that are standalone should be used in a village one beside the other what it is very interesting for me that i'm not used to department 56 buildings is that the building is usable from each side so one season I can show you from the front side, the other season I can, and it is like having a new building each four season, because you aren't used to view the main view as one side, but instead, uh, Lemax buildings are always only usable from one main side. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give big thumbs up thank you for watching thank you for bearing my usual bad english and see you certainly for part 17 of the 2024 regular season uh yes for part 17 bye guys